What's up, viewers, subscribers, and agents alike? It's your boy, Light Lucifer and Prince, coming at you once again. Assalamu alaikum to the brothers and sisters of the faith. And if you watch this video around children, you already know what to do. Remove them from your immediate vicinity. These videos are not for children, for YouTube purposes, because, yes, I do use very coarse and extreme harsh language sometimes. You know? Good. Also, this does not constitute legal advice, nor does it constitute anything anti-government. The sole purpose of this video is for information and education purposes only. Now that I got out of my Mr. Rogers mode, let's get to it. <laughs> okay. A lot of people are, you know, they're coming on social media and complaining about the rent being raised. Of property management raising rent. Okay, let me tell you why that's illegal. And I'm going to tell you why. And again, this does not constitute legal advice. It is illegal to raise rent if indeed your apartment or rental property, for whatever reason, is still the same a year later. Do you get what I'm saying? Again, I know that people going to argue and be like, well, you know, you signed the contract and okay. And you're raising rent for a place that still looks the same. <laughs> you're not bringing in no new appliances. You're not painting no walls. You're not servicing appliances. You're not making sure that this is up to You're not sending no plumber regularly. Why are you raising the rent? Now, let's ask that question. For all the smart asses out there who just be like, well, just pay your rent. No. If you're raising something, then that means that I'm supposed to be paying for an improvement. Notice what I use, the word terminology, improvement. If you have a situation in your location of where you stay and they're raising rent, First off, what you need to understand is if they're raising the rent, where's these improvements? Why aren't my appliances being serviced? Why are you not sending a, a routine plumber? My AC go out. Stuff like that. Y'all don't understand. It, this was a crowd of people who just be like, you know, just, just pay your bills. Just, no, 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 no. You, all right, put it like this. For the idiots out there, the slow ones. If you go to a restaurant and you order a certain dish and it says it's a certain price and then they come around and you order something that costs $40 and they turn around and say, Okay, it's 200 You going to pay that? No, you're going to contest it. I bet you will. What you going to say? I didn't order that. I didn't, what, what, where does 200 come from? See, that's, that, that's my point for the slow people out there. You will contest that. You'll be like, I'm not, I didn't order that. I'm $200. Like, what? What? You should be just as much outraged about rent increase. Just as much. Where's these improvements? Um, you're raising the price and cost of living. But what am I getting? I tell you what, here's a hack. Here's a real life hack. If 
file a lawsuit in civil court for violation of renter's rights. And that's in less than six minutes. See, I'm not going to sit here and argue with no fucking property management. When I put that paperwork on your ass, for you not doing what you say, because you have to realize, when you sign any contract, there's things they have to abide by too. I just don't read the fine print. Some of y'all anyway. Y'all don't read the fine print. They have to abide by certain things too. Yeah, my wife would even tell you, real talk. She's not here right now, but she, she'll tell you, oh, I, I go hard. These bitches talking about raising the rent. Well, uh, I need a new refrigerator. <laughs> Got one. And got the rent decreased. Now we we we're shift we're shifting to uh mortgage and you know home ownership. We're shifting that direction. But y'all gotta be y'all gotta be y'all gotta be straight hard with this shit. Y'all can't let these people keep getting over on y'all. That's why they're stopping y'all from owning anything. That's the problem that people don't get. They're stopping y'all from trying to acquire property. Y'all just going with the flow. Oh, I'm just going to pay rent. I'm just going to pay mortgage. I'm going to pay this. Rent and mortgage are the same shit, to be honest with you. It's the same thing. Different terms, it's the same shit. You need to shift to ownership so you can tell them to kiss your ass. See, when you get the middleman out the way, then when you own it, who can tell you what to do with what you own now? I ain't gonna put my business out there, but yeah, it's going that direction. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Talk about some love. But man, I ain't paying y'all bitches nothing. I'll pay you, I'll pay you no attention. See, if I live in an apartment, I tell you what, I go down to this to the courthouse, get this paperwork, and always make sure you file informal paupers. People be like, well, what 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 would that mean? It means you have a, a lack of ability to pay. You know? So obviously that's an affidavit sworn under penalty of perjury, and it is what it is. Cause see, me, if I was in an apartment, I'm gonna go to the courthouse and I'm gonna make sure I take part the apartment. <laughs> I'm gonna take part of the apartment off your ass. For real. I'm gonna go to Home Depot, get a circular saw. In, 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 in the front door, make sure I cut a piece of the floor out that thing. And people are like, that's destroying property. No, it ain't. That's to make sure that if you think you're going to run up in here, ain't going to be no floor under your ass. <laughs> I need to understand. Everybody want to talk about price increases. People. Government shutdown. Is scheduled October 1st, which means if the government is scheduled for shutdown October 1st, get prepared for Red October. Get prepared for Red October. I tell you that right now. You better get prepared for Red October. If the government is saying that it's shutting down. Who owes anybody anything? I'll wait for the idiots in the comment section that has something smart to say. I'll wait. Who owes anybody anything? They're saying fiscally, they 
by their admittance publicly, whether they give you the full details on it or not, fiscally. So why are you busting your ass at work? Talking about, you know, just pay your bills. It ain't your bills, idiot. State bills. Especially for people who vote. Telling you. Keep letting them people play y'all. Keep sitting back, spending your hard earned fiat. Keep keep letting them people play that. Keep letting them play that violin, that little small violin on your ass. Keep letting them do it. If you one of them people, cut my videos off and unsubscribe and get the fuck out of here. Goodbye. You're not, you're not welcome in my classroom. But for people who actually know what I'm saying, if they are not improving your quality of living, but you're paying higher rent or mortgage, Increase with interest. Don't hear me though. Some people in the comments, they got cognitive dissonance. They don't hear me though. See, y'all scared. Y'all scared and contest with the B system. Because I tell you what. There was a movie. And this from Law. There was a movie called The Hunt for Red October. And I watched it as a kid. I watched it on VHS. I'm old. Yeah, that's right. But America is trying to evade its fiscal responsibility. So October 1st is going to be a new day, people. It's going to be a new day. It's going to be a very new day. They're trying to just, they're trying to get all that stuff in order today. I can guarantee you right now, in the offices of so-called Washington, D.C., them folks shredding paperwork right now. <laughs> Shredding. Because, like I said, November 1st, that BRICS currency dropped. It's over with. America about to get stomped on. It about to get stomped on. From both sides. They just don't want to show it. Got too much bravado, too much ego. Oh, it's about to get stomped on. Look at these people out here in the street. Stores shutting down. Because people out here looting, shooting, booting. Y'all think they're going to come say y'all? They get that illusion out your head. I can tell you right right now. Get out your head right now. I'm telling you. Because when things pop off, y'all have to realize they have been lowering sheriff departments and police departments' benefits and pensions, and they're pissed. But they're not going to show you this on the news. They're going to be at home protecting their families. You're on your own, people. You're on your own. You've always been on your own, but you've been believing in a false sense of confidence of, you know, thinking that somebody is out here to save you. I can I can guarantee you, Red October, you better get ready to save yourself. <laughs> and I don't mean this in a condescending manner, but you better be ready.
Better be ready. Better be ready. Because anytime you say government shutdown before the imp before the implementation of a new currency. You don't went to that food bank. Like I suggested. Hope you didn't save your little coin. Tuck them away. Oh, you can't eat gold. Mm -mm. Nice idea, but can't eat gold. Your most valuable commodity that you need to actively get in a short period of time. Let's go stock up on some canned goods. That's what you need to do. They get ready. Because I tell you what. This country about to shake. <laughs> I take it lightly. I ain't fear mongering. I'm keeping it real. It's about to shake. Y'all about to hear some real dubstep music y'all keep playing. It's about to shake. And, they, and like I said, they already let y'all know before it even happens. October 1st, that's a few days from now. Half of y'all ain't prepared. Y'all just sitting there, lolly daddy da, lolly daddy da. Gotta go to work next week. Hunt for Red October. For the real vets, do exactly. What it's Red October now. Serious. Better get active or suffer the consequences. It is what it is. Like I said, it's not constitute legal advice. No, this is constituted anti-government. I'm telling y'all right now. Sleep. Slumber a little bit. And it comes upon you like a strong man. I better get active. Stay safe. Get prepared. And be ready. Peace. Light. Love. Take care. Y'all stay tuned.